so excited. I want to jump up and down. I want to scream. I want to yeah. I don't. Ah! <laughs> Sharon Young is a community leader in the North End District of Charlotte. She's so excited because today she's getting solar panels installed at her home. Not a common sight in this lower income neighborhood. I didn't know anything about solar until Deandra started talking about it. Deandrea Newman Salvador is on the Clean Air Carolina board and runs her own nonprofit, the Renewable Energy Transition Initiative. Our mission is to sustainably decrease the energy costs of families with high energy burdens. Right now, our bill sits at two something a month. Some families spend 20, even 30 percent of their income on their energy costs alone. Economists have found that if a family spends more than six percent of their income on their energy costs, then they're crossing that threshold into unaffordability. Green tech, like high-efficiency devices and solar panels, are great ways to reduce those energy bills. But the upfront costs are sometimes prohibitively high. So DeAndrea helps coordinate events with donations for the most energy-burdened community members. To provide this array of solar panels, DeAndrea partnered with two other organizations. Sunlight Financial approached her with funding, and Palmetto Solar donated their labor. All they needed was the right person. Sharon was, you know, more than willing to say, yeah, I would love to participate in this. She had a great roof that was like perfectly positioned for solar, so it made us feel really good that we would get the most impact for her as well. The impact was immediately obvious, and even before the installation was completed, people were stopping by, wanting to learn more. Forget about neighbors, I'm interested now. <laughs> Charlotte City Council member Dimple Ajmira chairs the Environment Committee, which in June got the full council to unanimously approve a low carbon resolution for the city. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you very much. We all need clean energy, clean water, and clean air. This is a model that you are creating for others to follow. Seeing initiatives like this will be helpful for city officials to put together an action plan for achieving those resolution goals. DeAndrea is helping as part of the steering committee. I was really happy to see Charlotte put forth the starting effort and saying we want to look at our low carbon future, but I do think that there are room to improve. There are not things like low-income carve-outs or um, plans that are looking how to strategically remove barriers. Linking environmental and economic concerns and addressing both at once seems like a no-brainer to everyone involved. People feel like I'm not only helping myself, my, fi my financial standing as far as with energy costs, but I'm also helping the environment. I feel that the more clean energy that we have, mm -hmm. the better things to be. Fight climate change and lower your electric bill at the same time? No wonder Sharon's excited once the last panels are in place, and she throws the switch. Wait. For Clean Air Carolina, I'm Miles O'Brien.